people nowadays that there's gonna be a cure, that there's a cure around the corner and it's gonna come and save everything. You're just trying to hide yourself from rejection and judgment from others. It's just another thing, another way to oppress people of color. It's like, it's like, yeah, like he, he thinks to this day that it's, it's, oh, it was a main disease for people of color. Mm. And Do you think it's valid or not valid? Plus, well, on. Sometimes, I, I like uh, to be honest, I think it is. And like some, like I wouldn't doubt it in the past. But just yeah, like the baby, the schizophrenic yeah. side speaking or something. If I swim a thousand lakes to bring your life back. I write that, but infinity can't rewind facts. You are divinity. My primitive mind was struggling just to understand the meaning of life. Forgive me. I never. And it kind of sucks. Like, why do I have to like, like I have to be safer than like an average white guy? Where it sounded like it's just that uh, I'm gay, um, person of color, you're gonna eventually get it. That's that's a set of mind that I had for a really, really long time, and it was like a burden. Like, I just felt like I was gonna die, and, like, I had no option. Your opinion? Um, it goes both ways with men and women when we're together talking about it, it's just mostly about jokes. We joke about sex, like. No, sex is just, like, we just joke about it. It's like, oh, you did that, you did this. Like, that's funny. You could have done this, you could have done that. You know, we just joke about it. It's like, oh, you're nasty, you know, stuff like that. But when we're separate, like, guys, they talk about, oh, yeah, I did this, I done that. I was like, oh, this doesn't sound good. But then when girls, like, I can't believe I did this and that, you know. When we're separate, it's, like, off subject. But then when we're together, we're, like, more strict with it. With my friends, I talk about it a lot with them, you know, have them be safe because I learn a lot about sex and the safety of it since when I was young, probably like around 13 years old, 13. And when I'm talking with my friends, you know, they're talking about, oh, I don't like condoms, I don't like this and that, it's better without it. I tell them, like, it may be better without it, but it's safer with it. Me and Marty, like, get the older kids around, like, that were, like, 12 and up. It's like, you get them in a circle and, like, have a safe sex talk about them. So me and Marty pulled out, like, condoms, dental dams, female condoms, and we talked about the heterosexual aspect of it, the gay way, the queer way, whatever way. They had a question to me after day, and like, I think it was easier for them to talk to me and Marty about it than it was them to talk about their mom, because when my aunties were in the room, we were talking about it, they didn't ask nothing, but as soon as they left, my cousin, my little 12 year old cousin was asking me, should I was like, yeah, I'm like, and I don't know, I think it's, you learn better from peers than you do with Yeah, with parents, we don't really talk about it with our parents because we feel like they're gonna judge us Ooh. and disrespect them that we're doing they're that. Like, oh no, uh, we don't need. I don't need a condom. Like I've only been with girls, and it's like um, these are the ones we need to watch out for. <laughs> and it's like I'm using a condom or it's a now, and it's just like, and it's like it's, it's a hard thing because because you have two people who like. Are trying to get it get off but then somebody's trying to be safe and somebody's not so it's like kind of an argument sometimes yeah. it was just like this whole like process of i have time like it's been a while i don't know your status i don't even know my own status right now i haven't been able to get tested and it's like it was just a safety thing for the both of us and it was just something like i had to like make them clear that i'm being safe i'm i'm trying to like, go 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 says um me quiero me cuido te quiero te cuido like i love you i take care of you I love myself and I take care of myself and it's like I think that's what we that's what we should like get across to the world it's like if you love yourself and you love the person you're trying to be in a relationship with you're gonna be safe um, to respect yourself and be a sexual free person is be safe all the time and you can be sexual whenever wherever as long as you're safe and as long as you know the person that you're doing with, you can't just have it with a stranger because you may never know what's going to happen and what they want in sex from what you, who you with, like even same gender or opposite gender, it's the same, it's the equal way of how you're going to be treated and how you're going to get affected by it. I, I thought about it and I was like, wait, how did I know the last person I did it with was in? And it was like, I'm not gonna. At least he, at least he cared enough to tell me. Yeah. I so if, if they cared enough to tell me that they are positive, then I think I should 
give them that chance. Mm, and that level of respect, like, yeah. that would show a lot. Like, Especially with the so- social world is judging on that, it's kind of hard for them to say, to be open, even with their own family, to say yeah. that I have HIV, I have AIDS. What about herpes? Do you do herpes? <laughs> I mean, not, not wait, wait, herpes. But. We do, we do. <laughs> okay. Oh, like, out of all of us, and that means, like, <laughs> one of us has herpes. I'm not saying we do, but you know what I mean? No, okay. I was Yeah, prepared me. It told me what's good about sex and what's bad about sex. And it told me, it taught me that to be more prepared because. Um, everything that I've learned and seen so far, I like to be more safe with sex than on the edge with it.